Ukraine's fierce defense, the battle for Kharkiv and beyond May 2024 war update. What happens when the relentless force of an army meets the steadfast resilience of a nation? In May 2024, the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine took a dramatic turn. As tensions rise and battles intensify, the world watches closely. Welcome to our detailed update on the war in Ukraine. Russian superiority on the battlefield continued in May. They launched another expected offensive across the border on Kharkiv, and rumors are swirling about a potential attack on Sumy in the foreseeable future. But what does this mean for Ukraine and the broader geopolitical landscape? Let's dive in. On the early morning of May 10th, the Russian army launched its second offensive on Kharkiv. This was not their first attempt. Remember, at the start of Putin's full-scale invasion in February 2024, his forces aimed to capture Ukraine's old capital but faced a significant setback. Back then, Ukrainian forces successfully pushed back, regaining control over the outskirts of Kharkiv. But now, with renewed vigor, Russian forces aim to change the tide. The offensive kicked off with intense shelling using glide bombs and artillery, followed by a ground assault. Russian battalions crossed the border, launching attacks towards Lipsy and Vovchansk. In Lipsy, Russian forces captured several villages, establishing a foothold 5 kilometers deep and 10 kilometers wide. Around Vovchansk, the relentless shelling forced the 125th Territorial Defense Brigade to abandon their positions. Ukrainian sources initially downplayed the rapid Russian advance, attributing it to capturing the unmanned Gray Zone. However, the reality was far more alarming. Reports emerged about inadequately constructed defensive lines and missing minefields, leading to serious concerns about sabotage or theft. Despite these challenges, Ukrainian special forces and reinforcements, including the 57th Motorized, 92nd Assault Brigades, and the Kraken Unit, rallied to halt the Russian advance. The fight for Kharkiv was far from over. Interestingly, Russian forces did not deploy a massive force in Kharkiv, engaging around 2,000 men with additional reserves. Analysts speculate whether this points to a lack of mechanized units or a conservative tactic relying on slow, infantry-led advances. Meanwhile, rumors of an impending offensive on Sumy raised alarms. Ukraine's strategic reserves were stretched thin, highlighting the urgency for new brigades and replenishment. While Kharkiv drew significant attention, the situation in Donbass remained critical. Russian forces continued their slow, steady advance, recapturing key areas and aiming for logistical nodes like Pokrovsk and Korokov. Ukraine's manpower shortages became a growing concern. The government took steps to address this, including the controversial recruitment of convicts in exchange for conditional release from prison. Every available recruit was needed to counter the vast Russian forces. The international community's support remained crucial. In May, Western countries pledged significant military aid to Ukraine. The United States, Spain, Portugal, Belgium, and others committed billions in aid, including advanced weaponry and essential supplies. The long-anticipated arrival of F-16 fighter jets marked a turning point. Despite Russian threats, Western leaders stood firm, allowing Ukraine to use their weapons within Russian territory, potentially shifting the balance of power. Diplomatic tensions escalated. Russia's appointment of a new defense minister signaled a focus on increased domestic military production. Meanwhile, Moscow's relations with Western neighbors deteriorated further, leading to provocative actions like the removal of maritime border buoys in the Baltic region. As Russia turned towards China for support, the global community kept a close watch. The intricate dance of alliances and rivalries continued, 
with each move carrying significant implications. The war in Ukraine is a complex and evolving conflict. Russian forces maintain their battlefield superiority, but with fresh recruits and Western weapons, Ukraine stands ready to defend its sovereignty. The coming months will be critical in determining the course of this war. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time, stay informed, stay engaged, and stand with Ukraine. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more updates. Your support is invaluable. See you in the next video.